Brian here with longrangeonly.com and in this video we're going to take a look at a few of the popular barrel coolers out there and since I was doing this I went ahead and grabbed this uh, Coleman air mattress pump off of Amazon just to see how it compared and we're, we're going to walk through them real quick. Now this is not an actual test on how quickly it will cool a barrel because there are just too many factors there when you're trying to use the data, such as the barrel contour, whether it's steel, uh, stainless steel, chrome moly, whether, it, uh, whether or not it's a carbon barrel, uh, like I said, the contour, so the uh, material, the contour of it, uh, the cartridge that you're shooting, the powder that you're shooting, the ambient air temperature, all those things come into play as far as performance. And when you're trying to do an apples to apples comparison of which one will perform the best, that's not the best way in my opinion. So we're going to talk about this real quick and I'm not going to get into details. Uh, if you want to have a discussion about it, you can go over to longrangeonly.com and we can talk about that. Uh, but the things, if we're doing an apple, to Apple comparison, the things that we can control in a heat balance or a heat removal equation are the airflow. And if you wanted to get crazy and hook up the suction of these to like a, a cooler full of, full of ice, uh, that, that could definitely change it. But just real quickly, the things that do affect it are the specific heat capacity of the the item that you're trying to cool, the specific heat capacity of the cooling medium. In this, in this case, it's going to be air. Uh, the airflow across that uh, is going to have an effect. So when you're doing apples to apples comparison, let's just take a barrel. Um, in this one, I'm just sh going to show you in a 6.5 Creedmoor barrel that I have here. Uh, Complete apples to apples comparison, that's not going to change. And then in a complete apples to apples comparison, the ambient air temperature is not going to change. Those things would affect uh, the heat removal uh, and the heat removal uh, capacity. So the BTUs per hour of heat that would be removed can be affected by those things. But in a very basic apples to apples comparison, the only thing that you can control is the airflow through the barrel. So I'm just going to show you which one of these performs the best. I will real quickly before we hop into that kind of talk about the, the features uh, of it that may be a decision maker for you. Um, we're going to be testing the rifle cool from Magneto Speed. Uh, what I really like about this is it's got a little magnet that'll set right in the action and it, it does a real nice job. I think as far as actual in use, this is probably my favorite just to use. Um, the barrel cool doesn't really have anything that sets it apart to me. These both do a real good job of getting the, the airflow down into the barrel itself. Uh, the chamber chiller uh, doesn't do a real good job of sitting in the receiver or the action. It doesn't fall out, but it's, it's definitely not as nice as this. Um, one thing to note, it uses a larger fan at a slower speed, so it moves uh, relatively the same amount of air, but it is quite a bit quieter than these two. And then the barrel cooler, it, uh, th this has a filter. I don't know if I mentioned that. This one does not. The original barrel cool does not. The chamber chiller, I don't have any. I decided that if I were going to use this, I would buy one later. They do offer it as an accessory. And then the original barrel cooler, it does have a filter that goes in here. It's not in on this. Um, and then this doesn't have any filtration. The other thing, uh, this is not something you're going to be carrying if you're you know, packing rifles and gear into uh, a spot to shoot. It's, I wouldn't want to carry this. It is a couple more pounds, whereas these are a lot more po portable and lightweight. It's also super noisy and it is rechargeable, but the battery won't last through a shooting session in my experience. Um, whereas these all last multiple days. I'm not going to get crazy into the batteries. I don't think any of them's a deal breaker. They take double A's or C uh, 123's. Um, but that's a breakdown of, of what we're going to show you. So, like I said, the things that we can control in an apples to apple comparison are the airflow through the barrel. That's going to make or break the cooling capacity of the things that we can control 
in an apples to apples comparison. So I'm gonna jump in here and we're gonna show you how they perform as far as airflow through a barrel. All right, we're just gonna walk through these. Start with the barrel cool. There you can see about 3.8, 3.9 is what we're getting out of the barrel cool. Okay, moving on to the rifle cool. It's from Magneto Speed. Okay, at the best spot you can see it's getting about 4.4 to 4.5 miles per hour. Again, 4.4 to 4.5 on the Magneto Speed Rifle Cool. Okay, chamber chiller. See there, it's getting about 5.4 miles per hour on the chamber chiller. Again, 5.4 miles per hour on the chamber chiller. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the barrel cooler, the original barrel cooler. So, not to be confused with the barrel cool, this is the barrel cooler. Okay, you can see it's running about 9.9 point uh, to 10.0 miles per hour. Okay, and then one thing to add on the barrel cooler, and we'll show you the performance. The first round was without this, but they also offer specific chamber cartridges that are set up to work with it. So we'll show you what that, uh, how big a difference that makes, if any. There's the barrel cooler with the cartridge specific insert and it's having exactly the opposite effect as I think they intended. So there you go, the barrel cooler with the cartridge specific cooling case is running about a mile per hour slower. Alright, so the last one but not least is the Coleman rechargeable quick pump. Now obviously this is not intended for cooling rifle barrels. Uh, it's definitely going to be noisy and it's not going to be something you're going to want to carry if you've got long distances. Uh, but for most guys just going to the range and making a, a short trip with their rifle, this is definitely something I wanted to consider and I think we would expect it to uh, destroy the competition, but we'll find out here in a second. Just due to the noise of that one, I'm going to shut it off while I talk. But that was uh, hitting peaks of 19 and averaging right around 18 miles per hour. So in the air velocity, it's double pretty much the next closest competition. So I'll go ahead and uh, stop these here and then we'll go talk about them. Okay, so now we showed you the airflow. I think it's easy to see which one's gonna perform the best as far as heat removal. And then, so basically it's gonna come down to these two and you're gonna have to decide if uh, this will work for you based on the size and the fact that it has to be charged all the time uh, to have continued use, whereas this will last multiple, multiple days. So uh, we will have a link in the description below to a thread on longrangeonly.com. Uh, go ahead and head over there. You can ask me any questions. If you're not a member, it's quick, it's free and easy to sign up for an account. We would love to have you. Please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on notifications for being notified of future videos. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day.